I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com and I love the fact that when I think of entry level devices in 2012, I can think of devices with dual core Snapdragon S4 processors. One of those is the Pantech Flex. Arriving just in time for the holiday season, this thing's packing a 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 CPU, 4G LT connectivity, and best of all, it's available for under 50 bucks. This is part two of a full review, but first, Special thanks to our partners at Best Buy Mobile for giving us phones like the Flex for use in our One Paul Bandit giveaway game, which you can find at instantwin.phonedog.com. When you walk into Best Buy Mobile, you'll walk out working. They'll be sent up your email, your web, your contacts, and more. So when you walk out the door, you're good to go. Let's take a look. Flex, 50 bucks? Is this the one? We'll find out in part two, which starts right now. Part two of the Pantech Flex full review, and if you didn't catch part one, go back and take a look at it, but again, I'm really impressed with the way that this device looks and feels, and not just that, but the, the power that it has, a 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 CPU, and a device that's 50 bucks, you really can't beat it, and it's nice to see them take the entry level devices, the high end devices, and kind of bridge that gap a little bit, because hey, just because you wanna pay 50 bucks, or you wanna pay free for a device, if you're committing to a two year agreement, doesn't mean you have to settle for an S3 processor, or something that's single core, or something that doesn't have the latest version of Android, and I think Pantech is proof of that. This is a well-built device with a great processor, Android 4.0, a nice large, or relatively large battery, 1,830 milliamp hours, 4G LTE connectivity, and again, like I said, it looks pretty good to boot. So it's good for first time smartphone users thanks to the easy mode, but then it's good for those people that just are on a budget and don't want to spend a ton of money on a smartphone. That said, let's take a look at some of the customization stuff because I didn't cover this in part one. Have a look down here at the menu button, which obviously on screen buttons here again, back home and recent applications. When you click the menu button, you're presented with a couple of different options, widget, wallpaper, home theme, tips, settings, and more. So I can go into widget, for example, and I can scroll between my seven home screens, which again, five out of the box, but you can add two additional screens. And then from there, I can scroll between my available widgets. I can throw Gmail. Let's go ahead and throw that up here on that one. As you can see, we'll throw the inbox up there. Bam, perfect. And then you have that. So I can bring up Google Play Books, for example, and move these around as I see fit. And again, I can scroll through all the widgets that are available to me. Now, this is a feature I absolutely love. I was in a strategy meeting a few weeks ago, and people were talking about how to improve Android. This is a perfect area where I think you can improve Android. Place shortcuts and folders on either side of these. It's a movable, basically a movable bar down here at the bottom. And I brought this exact feature up, never seeing this device. I was like, why doesn't Android do this? Where I can go down here, for example, and let's say I want more, you know, I want more icons down there. Let's say I use Maps on a regular basis, or let's say I use Play Store on a regular basis. So I can bring that right down here, throw it in, and I can scroll over and access Play Store from the bottom in the App Store, which is really a cool feature. I think that's great. And of course, your updates, uh, 15 updates available. Apparently, I need to update this device, at least update some of the uh, the applications. Let's take a look at speed test here. AT&T 4G LTE connectivity in the Charlotte metro area. I've tested this in several metros. been pretty impressed with their LTE. Again, kind of varies depending on which metro you're in due to the fact of, or how they've rolled it out, rather. But uh, Wilson, North Carolina, that's good enough for me. Begin test. And we'll take a look here. I believe I kept it in kilobits per second, so I need to uh, transition that over to megabits per second at some point. But again, it's in rush hour right now, but these speeds are not the best. I've seen speeds in Charlotte as high as 17 to 20 megabits per second, upload speeds as high as 8 to 10 megabits per second. This is a little slow, again, about 4 megabits per second right now, which is right up there with like HSPA Plus on AT&T. I've definitely seen faster. And uh, I can show you, and obviously if you go back and look at some of my LTE-based videos, reviews or dogfights, whatever the case may be, you'll see some faster speed test numbers. But again, 4,000, or about 4 megabits per second, about 3.9 megabits per second over here. And how convenient. Wi-Fi networks are available. Let's turn that off, because that's obnoxious. If I want Wi-Fi, I'll connect to Wi-Fi. And then down here to Quadrant Standard, and again, I didn't really go into the customization in part one in the actual menu, but you can do some cool features here as well. So let's bring up a new group. Let's say instead of test, let's say um, cool, if I can type, apps. And let's make the folder, we'll make it blue. And you can see cool apps here, and I can drag and drop stuff over here. So let's say I use contacts on a regular basis. Whoops. Let's go over here and do, I've got to remember how to do it. I think it's right there. Is it drag them over? Is it edit down here? I can't remember exactly. I think it's over. I thought it was over there, but let's see what we can do. Family map. Let's see if it's maybe drawn. I can't remember exactly how to do it. I'm drawing a complete blank here. Uh, groups, and then of course alphabetical downloads down there. But let's see applications. We've got our AT&T radio over here. Let's see. Looks like I may have to. Uh... Huh, that's strange. I cannot recall 
cannot recall how to do it. Um, hmm, let's see, let's go back to settings here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Is it down here? Manage groups, view hat, tips, search, share. Let's see, edit. Nope, that's not what I want. Ah, oh, there we go, perfect. And then from there, I can change smart Wi-Fi over. I can go to, bam, throw it over here in the cool apps if I want to. And then cool apps, it's right over there. And when I'm done, I can hit done and it's confirmed and it's over there in the cool apps. Sorry that took so long because I was having a hard time remembering exactly where that was. And on that note, let's take a look at Quadrant Standard, take a look at the speed test on this device. Overall, call quality has been pretty decent on the Pantech Flex. Uh, one thing I will say, taking it to a dead zone, if you're in an area with zero to one bars of service, of AT&T service, it doesn't have the best wireless radio in the world in comparison to perhaps a Motorola device, which does really well in the wireless radio department. But overall, I've been pretty impressed with it. Speeds have been incredibly fast just in general on the device side, not the call side, but the device side, uh, LTE aside. Incredibly fast thanks to that dual core Snapdragon S4 CPU. Beautiful display, even though it's not HD, the blacks are very black, the colors look rich because it is super AMOLED which is a nice touch. And then of course, eight megapixel camera on the back, which we'll talk about in just a second. That'll be our last portion uh, of the review. But Quadrant Standard, as you can see, running through this relatively quickly. And again, keep in mind that this device is 50 bucks. So for 50 bucks on a two year agreement, you're getting a device with a dual core processor. And I know I keep kind of harping on that, but it's awesome to me because, hey, just a year ago, we were looking at devices, or a year and a half ago, we were looking at devices like the Samsung Intercept, this terrible, you know, incredibly low end device that had a poor processor, for free or for 50 bucks. Then you were looking at these awesome high-end devices for you know $200, $300, and the discrepancy was pretty amazing. Over here, 4,855, a really respectable Quadrant standard score, which take it with a grain of salt, of course, but that said, that's right up there with the One X and the Galaxy S3 and the One S and some of these other devices that yes, while they have HD displays, better cameras and more, they're $100 more, $150 more, so a nice benefit there. So pull up and one more thing here, the camera, eight megapixel camera, with 1080p HD video recording here. And overall, you've got some editing options over here on the side. I can choose normal HDR. And of course, I've got some stuff over here as well, including some mode options, some effects options, instant film, division speed. So let's bring in speed and see what we can do here. Long press the shutter and drag on from screen, add shortcuts, perfect speed. Let's do that. Let's see what we can do. Options, let's back out. And let's see if we can do, bring over the rubber DM pin, rubber DM. that and of course 1080p HD video recording over here as well but then I've got a bunch of pictures of the rubber DM pin and there's a picture I took of the keyboard as well on my work computer and you can see pinch to zoom incredibly responsive not the most amazing picture by any means in comparison to some of the other devices we've seen over the past couple of months that said it's not bad and again keeping in mind the price point it's a good deal Pantech Flex is one of my favorite smartphones on the market because of the value the bang for the buck that you get and I've been really impressed with it you can get it now at AT&T for 50 bucks I'd highly suggest taking a look at it. If anything, LTE connectivity for 50 bucks, dual core processor, you can't beat it. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage. Be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash PhoneDog. We're doing cool giveaways. The greatest tech giveaway ever, too, is up right now. Take a look on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter as well, PhoneDog underscore Aaron, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash PhoneDogAB. Pantech Flex, it's an awesome device. And you know what happens when we have awesome devices, or any devices for that matter, we do dog fights. Head-to-head -head comparisons between one device and another device that's very similarly specced or has something that's kind of similar or something that's interesting, we do dog fights. So stay tuned for more dog fights with the Pantech Flex, and as always, we'll see you next time.